Hello again, Craig here with another quick video about the Fukushima water release plan, the radioactive water release plan that the mainstream media is fear-mongering up to the hilt, giving you misinformation, lack of the proper information to understand it, and fear-mongering. Remember, the fear-mongering is intentional for anything nuclear or anything we're using the word radiation. They need to demonize nuclear energy to force you into electric cars and ruinables. That's what they're doing. It's an intentional agenda, propaganda agenda. So, are we concerned about this water? Short answer is no. I've been battling trolls now for days on this, actually for years, because this has all been planned long ago. The Japanese water release plan meets all international safety standards for the industry. End of story. The IAEA, the Atomic Energy Commission, all of these have, have approved this. And frankly, it's been approved half a century ago because every single nuclear power plant in the world releases the same tritiated water. Yeah, see, they have this system called ALPS, A-L-P-S. I can't remember what it stands for at the moment. But ALPS removes all but the tritium. Tritium is a natural element that actually comes from the atmosphere. There's about 3,400 grams of tritium on the Earth at any one time. Most of it is in the oceans. The amount of tritium to be released with the, in, in all those tanks in the 1.2 million tons of water that, that they're fear-mongering is 2 to 3 grams. 2 to 3 grams. How much would that be? It would fit in this spoon. 2 to 3 grams, that's what they're talking about releasing. Over a period of decades, the Fukushima Water Release Plan, again, meets all international standards for the industry, safety standards, and it has, let's see here, I wrote down, they plan to release 0.1 gram to 0.2 grams of tritium per year. And it will be highly diluted when they pump it out into the ocean. Remember, there's 3,400 grams of naturally occurring tritium on the, on the Earth at any one time. Most of it is in the oceans. Tiny amount of tritium, but no, they want to say it's 1.25 million tons. Fear-mongering again. Complete fear-mongering. Um, and by the way, tritium has a half-life of 12.3 years. Uh, the water has been in those tanks, the, the first water has been in the tank for about 12.3 years. So, so some of the tritium has already passed its half-life. Some of it's new, some of it's old. It doesn't really matter, because but they're saying it's gonna it's gonna wipe out the oceans for centuries. That's what everybody says. No, 12.3 years, and there's already tritium naturally occurring in the atmosphere via cosmic rays coming from space. It's natural, it's been on this planet ever since the dawn of man, or the dawn of time. It's been on this planet. There's nobody in world history that's ever been injured by tritium or tritium releases from nuclear power plants. Why do I say that? Because, well, you won't find any, first of all. But tritium, this is another thing that people aren't getting, tritium is released by every single nuclear power plant in the world. It's a rather routine thing with nuclear power plants. It's been happening ever since nuclear power plants existed. They go within these standards set forth by the IAEA, and it doesn't harm anybody, never has. You won't find anybody that's injured by this effluent from a nuclear power plant, the tritiated water. Remember, ALPS removes everything. They say, oh, it's been in contact with the core. Well, yes, the water has been in contact with the core, and it's lots of it's salt water, by the way. So, and by the way, if you, if you want me to drink it, I might desalinate it first, but have TEPCO sent me a sample. They won't answer my, e my emails. I'd love to get a sample of it and drink it and make a live YouTube video of it to shut up all the stupid trolls because this water is basically safe to drink. There is a video, uh, several videos showing a, a Japanese politician drinking it, but it's beyond, beside the point here. It's not dangerous, and no, I'm not afraid of it. Nobody should be. If you had the proper information, you would not be. But why is this being ramped up so bad? Put it squarely on the shoulders of China and South Korea. China and South Korea have been running this racist propaganda campaign for decades. They never got over what Japan did to them during World War II. And yes, Japan did a lot of nasty things to a lot of countries in World War II, but everybody else got over it. China and South Korea, you get over it too. Getting tired of this because you're just ramping up the fear for no reason. Oh, and South Korea, I, I don't have the figures here for China, but China releases a lot more tritium every year than Japan does. And the, I don't know how to say it here for sure, the Wollasong nuclear power plant in South Korea, 
they'll never tell you this. All, all, every time you see China, the only people that are protesting it is China and Korea, South Korea. But yet, and this is a, this is a number from the, from the South Korean plant, uh, 6,000 terabequels uh, have been released into the Sea of Japan from that plant, which is six times more than what Fukushima has in storage right now. That's right, but they never tell you that. See, that's how you can prove that they're racist. When China and South Korea start going up and screaming about the, the radioactive water, but yet they never mention that they release the water as well, as does every single nuclear power plant in the world, almost 100 in the U.S. that release it all the time into their respective waterways. That's one of the reasons you have nuclear power plants on a large body of water, whether it be a lake, a river, an ocean. It's one of the reasons is to dispose of their tritiated water. Tritiated water, which has not ever harmed anybody in world history. So I really wish all these media would tell these basic things. I wish this, viral, this video would go viral because we need it to be. Because, frankly, nobody else is giving you this information. Not really. You have to go look long and hard to find the information I've given you in this short video. So, thanks everybody for watching. Spread it if you would like, if you'd like to. I've been battling trolls like crazy. I get sick of the nonsense. I get sick of the lies. I'm trying to bring forth facts, accuracy, truth to this channel. But apparently people don't want that. Bye.